What is up my dudes, Kevin here, back with a brand new Red Dead Online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips on how to get a particular item that's going to help you make a ton of money in Red Dead Online. So you guys know the deal, if this is helpful at any point you enjoy it, remember to drop a like down the video as it does help the channel grow. And let me know in the comments what kind of methods have you been using to get this item, and have you even been using it at all? Other than that, subscribe to the channel, and let's get right on into it. So as many of you guys know, there's a lot of money making methods out there and a lot of those methods include animals and those types of animals range from small animals to large animals where large animals you're going to get the most money from. Now the problem with large animals is you only can carry a certain amount of them. You can only carry one on your shoulder and one on your horse so it really limits the efficiency that you can do while doing those types of methods. Now if you guys saw my previous video yesterday, I show a method where you can get a ton of musky and pike in one go and they can ship them all over to a butcher without having to do it one by one or two by two. Now in order to be able to do that, you're going to need yourself a cart. And I saw a lot of people in the comments struggling with getting these carts and asking me to make a video on the locations and some tips on how to get these because it can be tricky at times if you don't know where to look or where to go or what kind of tricks to do to get them to spawn in. Now these carts are extremely, extremely useful. There's a couple different types of carts and wagons. You have the small one like this. I like to call this the bucket wagon. You have the large ones where it's kind of like a rectangle, but those are not good for putting stuff in the back because the hatch on the back actually opens up and all of your stuff will just fall out. And of course you have the stagecoach type wagons, which are not useful for this type of thing at all. So this is the type of wagon that you're going to need, the bucket wagon. Now you can load a ton of animals and fish in here. I would say at least 20 fish. I put 10 in here in the previous video easily and there was tons of room. So you can probably get more than 20 fish easily. And you can throw a good amount of animals in the back if you get an empty one. This one has a couple stuff in the back, but it still has plenty of room left. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to show you a couple of tips and tricks on how to get these wagons and minimize your time looking for these wagons. Because as they are super useful, they can be difficult to find at times. And on top of that, I even show you guys multiple locations at where you can find them. So, let's get right on into it. Now, to begin this whole search, you guys want to come on down to Valentine. Valentine is a location where I find the most amount of carts consistently. Pretty much every time I come in to find a cart, it does not take me long to find one. Now, there's a particular road you want to go to find these carts. And there's actually one right here. See, as I'm saying, see, this one's filled though. This one would not be useful, but that's the exact type of cart we want. And the particular road you want to look on is this road right here to the left of Valentine. This is the road where you'll see a lot of carts passing by. You got stagecoaches. You have ones like we just saw. And I actually got this cart from this road as well right before I started this recording. Now, there's a few times of days where you're going to see it most carts. First off, you don't want to look for carts at nighttime. Although they are around at night, there's not a lot of them. And it's going to take you a lot of time. You're better off doing something else and waiting for morning. The time I found where you'll find the most carts is about noonish, a little earlier or later after that. And you'll find carts all the way up to about 9 p.m. After that, it drops off greatly. And it's much more harder to find carts. And if you don't see any carts, what you're going to want to do is simply ride out of the city. I'll show you right now. Ride down this way. And you're going to drive a decent amount of distance away from the city. So it kind of resets what's going on in there. Kind of similar to what you do for hunting tactics. If you guys did the cougar one. Where you'll kill the cougar, go away from it. And then it'll spawn back in because you go a certain distance away from it. So same deal with these wagons. Now I'm going to turn around, head back in. And we should see a new group of wagons heading through the city. Now while we're riding into town guys, let's talk about the availability of these carts. Now due to the fact that they can be pretty tricky to get at times, I feel like Rockstar should add this into the game as an item that you can buy because it's pretty useful and I don't see why they haven't made that yet. A lot of people can use them for different reasons and they can add a huge aspect to the game and just make things more creative. But as I said, riding down this road you're going to see many different types of carts. We have that one, that one's open in the back, you don't want that and it's a large cart. And what else we got up here? A similar type of one, not what we're looking for as well. So if you do not see the type of cart that you need, what you want to do is just ride through the city again and come on back and rinse and repeat. Ooh, ooh, ooh this kind of looks like what we're looking for. Is it? Hello. Bingo, there we go, see? Now, just because I said that road right there is the most popular one, doesn't mean you guys should avoid the other ones. Check them all. If they're not on that road, then go to the other ones. Just make that first one your priority to check because you're most likely to find them on that one. What the heck is going on? But as you can see, guys, this is definitely a location where you can find these wagons at a pretty consistent pace. You won't waste too much time finding them here. Where is this boy looking at? Yeah, you best keep riding, bud. You best keep up. 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 Is he going to make the move? Yeah, you better not. Yeah, you better not, bud. But now that you guys got this first location, if this one doesn't work for you, or you're just not in this general area, or you just hate Valentine, let me show you guys another spot that you can get these carts. Alright, so here we are at the second location in Blackwater. You guys can already see there's a bunch of carts riding around. 
not the ones that we're looking for right now but there's a few areas you want to keep an eye on while in blackwater so let me show you the map now if you notice there's a road right here right next to the butcher and this is where you'll find a majority of the carts going another spot you will find is leaving or exiting blackwater so any of these roads exiting blackwater you're going to want to check those that seems to be a trend for a lot of places you'll see these types of bucket carts leaving these towns now there's two ways you can either do this guys you can either wait right here at the butcher shop and simply wait on this little dock area and you'll see these cars eventually come by notice how they're just driving by as they are now or a more efficient way is to circle Blackwater, check in between these little alleyways. If you don't see anything, ride away and come back just as usual, just like you would as with Valentine. But if you guys are feeling lazy, then you can just wait by the butchers and wait for the cart to appear. Now, Blackwater is a great spot to get a cart because there actually is a lot of really good farming areas around this spot. So if you guys can get a cart here, that would be ideal. Valentine's pretty good because it's kind of in the center, but it is kind of far away from a lot of spots as well. But going to Valentine, you know you're going to get a cart for sure. So just like this, guys, if you don't see the cart you're looking for, right up here, I usually go to about this house right here. Then I'll turn around, head back on in, and uh, I rinse and repeat that until I find what I'm looking for. And if you guys don't see anything at all, of course, make sure you leave the lobby and join a new one. Because if there's no carts, then obviously something's, something's off about your lobby. So here we go. Here's one of the carts right here on the road I told you guys about in Blackwater. He drives right by the butcher from time to time. So you can either roam around the town to find him or just wait at that one spot and he'll come by. Once you have him, you guys want to jump onto it. There we go, just like that. Because if you shoot him off it, the horse is going to run away and you have to chase down the cart. Sometimes they'll run into water or sometimes the horse will just die. So yada, yada, yada. Make sure you just jump onto it. And here you go, boys. You got a cart. So that's the second location in Blackwater. So guys, those are the two main spots that you want to look out for finding these types of carts, the bucket carts in specific. Um, I have the best luck in both of these spots. There's some other notable spots that I should show you guys as well where you can find these. But the most luck I have is in Valentine and Blackwater. You can also get them in St. Denis. Now, the way you want to do it here is focus on the entrances and exits of the city. So this general area, you'll see the carts leaving sometimes also coming out this way now in the center part of the city you'll find a lot of carts but not the kind we're looking for you either find stage coaches buggies or the kind of carts where there's just no hatch on the back so everything would just falls out so that's not useful to us but you can find them in saint denise the problem is I either have super good luck there or really bad luck where it takes forever to find one so this if you guys are farming in this general area then you can check saint denise for a cart another spot i found them before is strawberry now strawberry is simple all you want to do in this location is ride on up you, you take a lap around this circle and after the first lap you ride up here come back down and do the lap again and you just rinse and repeat that and you'll eventually find the cart there but that process is a little slower there it's a smaller town so less likely chance that you're going to find it but by far strawberry is the number one spot to find these carts and uh, blackwater in a close second place now once you guys have the cart you're looking for and you finally got it there's a little trick to loading it with animals that i'm going to show you guys Notice if you have something in your hands, you can't hop up in there and you can't dump it in there. It won't let you. So let me show you actually. Let me, let me put this down. And now I can hop up into it without problem, but I'm not able to load it this way. So what you guys want to do is find some kind of rock or ridge like this one right here. And you want to back up into it just like this. And you want to make sure the ridge is either the same height as the cart. Or it could be a little lower. It could be a little lower, but you want it to be around the same area so that you can simply walk into it without having to jump into it. So let me show you that right now. Let me go up top here. And all you have to do now is either walk into it or walk close to it. You can just drop it right on in. Boom. And it's loaded up just like that, guys. Super, super easy. You can probably fit another two or three deers in there. The deers are pretty big. But if you're going after, you know, fish, big fish, you can fit a ton in there. All you do now is hop on it. Ride on off and you're good to go. Now, once you got this all loaded up, guys, and you take it to the butcher, make sure you take everything out of it before you start selling your items. So... For example, if you get to the butcher, guys, you're going to hop in the cart and take everything out of the inside. Throw whatever you can on your horse and anything else on the ground. Because sometimes if you throw some on your horse and you put one in your hands and you leave the rest in the cart, when you go to sell, it'll be, you'll be fine. You'll be able to sell it. But once you turn around, you'll notice that some of the stuff is missing from your cart, if not all of it. So make sure you take everything out once you get there, guys. But other than that, guys, with all that being said, you guys should be good to go. You should be able to find a cart quite easily. If you guys have any problems with it, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out. But other than that, guys, if you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful, drop a like down on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content. And I'll see you all next time for a brand new video. Peace.